This thing's beeping, and you probably can't even hear it. It's so loud. I don't know why. So I'm doing a, an install on our new seat brackets for the Corvette. I've got a couple tools here that you're gonna wanna have when you do it yourself. I've got a 15 deep. This is for taking off the original seat. Then I've got an array of tools here. I've got a 13 mil ratcheting wrench. This is what I'm gonna use to put the side mounts on the seat itself. I've got a 14 mil with an extension. This is what I'm gonna use to tighten our side mount seat brackets to our billet aluminum bases. Um, the reason that it's got an extension is because the bolt head's gonna be this way. We're gonna be able to reach this down beside the seat and the tunnel. And we're gonna be able to tighten it on like that. It's gonna make it a lot easier. And then I've got a... It was just on. I've got a 13 millimeter socket. This is, if I have enough room to put on the side mount, I'll use this in my electric ratchet. Just for, it'll just be faster. And then uh, I've got a 7 8 which is gonna be for the seat stud adapter. And then I've got a 15 16 which is gonna be for the jam nut that goes on top of the new seat brackets. The metric equivalent of these two wrenches is a 22 millimeter and a 24 millimeter. They are Imperial because this is a 5 8 jam nut, which is an Imperial thread. And it's the reason we chose that thread is just because it's uh, readily available pretty much everywhere. It's a very common jam nut size. Uh, and then we use the jam nut so the seat has as much room as possible to get as low as we can get it. Let's begin. Now everyone knows when you take out a seat, you're gonna find some money. There is definitely gonna be money. Oh, look. Some Canadian currency. Hey. Ooh, look at all the cash, man. Can you even call it cash or is it just change? I think it's just change. Does cash have a value? Yeah. But if you have 10, me it is. if you have $10, wouldn't you say you found some cash or would oh, you say, yeah. I found a bunch of change. This is what $10 in Canadian looks like. Going to Timmy's. I hate change so much. That's why he throws it under his seat because he hates change. Loonies and toonies, yeah, just. Yeah. In Canada, we suck up any change less than a dollar, so. I just sucked up a bunch of change. Water jet's running. Okay, so these are the seat adapters. They adapt it from the M10 thread that comes factory, lifts it up to be level with the fiberglass floor, and then gives us a new larger thread we machine these in-house from 4140 chromoly. They simply thread on each stud, like so. You can tighten those down to the floor. One thing to note is if you're running these with carpet and you need to maintain some of the electronics for some reason, you can put washers underneath these to raise or lower the height of them. But basically they're designed so that the bracket sits really tight to the carpet once tightened down. And if you remove your carpet completely, tighten them right to the floor and it'll sit just barely above the fiberglass floor. So just snug them up. Hello. Okay, so the next step is we're gonna take the brackets off of the seat we actually test fitted this into my pro car. This is the not pro car. So we're gonna separate the brackets.
When tightening these down, you want to make sure that you actually fully tighten it and that it's not just getting hard because you're pinching the carpet. These large slots here are designed if the width of your seat is really wide, you're going to want to have this bracket all the way maxed out in its slot. You can see here, I have mine set all the way in. My seat isn't that wide, so I don't need these set that wide. For this one, same thing. Uh, you're pretty limited when you have the carpet installed. Uh, it, it, do, it is super thick and it adds a lot of material between the transmission tunnel and the floor and the bracket. So you will get more adjustment without the carpet, um, but there is also adjustment in the seat brackets themselves for side to side movement. The reason why we made these with so many threaded holes is because you really want to be limited forward to backwards with uh, constraining the seat bracket into the position that it's in. There are some brackets where they just are a big slot. It's not ideal. Uh, you want to have the seat fixed and constrained in its location. So we have side to side adjustment and we have pitch adjustment, but we do not have free range of motion for going front to back. It's always held in with a hole and a thread. It's more work, but it's a better product. You peek the handbrake. Nice. Have to order a longer. Oh, these are always hard. So I actually did need to move the C bracket uh, to the max position width wise because the carpet is really pushing everything this way. Um, everything fit really nicely in the other car because there's literally nothing in it. I know this seat specifically because my other seat hasn't come in yet. I'm just using this for the video. This is my uh, pro car seat. This is probably going to hit the door. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. But you can see here how easy this adjustment's going to be. So with the camera looking down at these holes, you can see how they line up and how I can slide the seat for different positions, front all the way to the back. And right now the seat's quite literally sitting on the carpet. Um, so it's as low as you can get it. It's really nice. And this is what I meant by the extension. So we can take our bolt, we can put it on the extension for this side next to the tunnel. This is how you'll get that bolt tightened down which is so much easier than getting like a side mount ratchet down in there. And then on this end, you can just start the thread. If I shove this all the way back in the last possible hole. Threads in there, nice. Beauty. Then we'll do the same. So the inside is gonna be tricky. There's no way around it. Seat brackets for side mounts are tricky. You need good finger coordination um, regardless. This is better than other brackets that I've worked with. That's why I designed it this way, but there's really no way to get around it. So get your fingers out, get them dancing around. You'll get it in. Make sure that it threads in by hand before you put a wrench to it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As far as adjustments goes, um, I'm gonna take a seat. Basically, I started with, the, with it as low as possible and as far back as it can go. And that's all I can do uh, at my size. So that's where my seat's gonna go. Obviously, if you're a different size than me, you're gonna be playing around with this a little bit more than I am. But there's good news, it's easy. The side mounts work great. I'll probably, I'll have to show you on the other side over here. Um, I'm gonna take a seat, because I've never had a racing seat in this car. And we can, oh, this is gonna be nice. Did it close? I think it did. It smoked the seat, but it did close. I like got over. Oh, Jack, this is gonna be nice, man. 
It wow, looks good. I might keep the halo. No, we're not yes. The halo. Think about it. It's a neck breaker for me. No, this is really nice. So with the factory seat, my head was literally hitting the roof, and I've got you know. I'll shrink down a little bit. Yeah, I've got, you know, an inch and a half. If I really had to, I can just do a little scoot. Just a little scoot forward and give myself another, you know, another inch. So with a helmet on, I think we'll be just cresting, which is much better than sticking out of the roof. Uh, I'm super happy. That was easy. That was easy, Jack. Thanks for watching. Actually, we'll show you quickly the... Uh, how you can actually adjust the pitch of the seat and change its position um, within the seat bracket. There's actually no adjustment in the seat bracket itself other than pitch and height. Um, all of your forward to back adjustments are done on the rails like I showed you because we don't want slots. We want holes for changing the position um, because we want that constraint for your safety. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for uh, subscribing to the channel, all that good stuff. We're super busy right now. That's why it's been a bit slow and the, and the videos are not all that specific. It's just, we're getting the content out, but uh, we're just trying to catch up. So thanks for all your support. See you guys in the next video.